Now in this program we have to actuate all the outputs using the same input x0. We have to actuate y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, all the outputs. So for that we just have to connect the outputs in parallel to that. That's it. So for that I'll just make changes to the same program. We have to add some extra space between that. For that I'll press control I. By that I can have these spaces. So next is to add the parallel outputs. So for that I'll go for F9. It will create a vertical line. Then again I have to take output F7. Then now this time Y1. Then again F9. Then Y2. Oops, sorry. Press Y2. I can also write the codes instead of instead of pressing the F7 again and again. I can write a code out Y3. This is the instruction list. So I can use that here as well. Program, I have to compile it and then download it to the PLC. Now the program has been downloaded. So now when again press when I press X0, we can see all the outputs are on. Because the supply is going to here and to the parallel networks as well. So this is how we can turn on any number of outputs by using the same input without change in the line. Just we have to change the program. That's it.